Hey, what's going on, family? And welcome again to the mail room. This is where we're gonna be talking about everything from fashion to trends to music and to, and to even to technology. Trust me, nothing is off limits. Eventually, I hope that we end up talking about everything that is unique to our experiences here in this new church culture. Um, and it's wild. I was. Uh, this is my family reunion weekend, y'all. Um, and so uh, we were having a discussion. I'm just gonna jump right into this because I have to make sure I get this stuff out while it's in my head. Um, we were discussing the civil unrest and things that have been going on uh, lately here in these uh, United States of America. And we were encouraging uh, my younger cousins who had gone through some really crazy experiences that you wouldn't have think or you wouldn't have thought that they would have actually gone through. Um, and uh, we had my uncles and other cousins that were praying and, and encouraging them. And that was the intention of what we wanted to do. And um, I had kind of brought it to the forefront as something that we should do. And so afterwards, they were kind of like, well, Joe, do you have anything that you want to say? And I was kind of like, well, I kind of want to let things kind of like, you know, melt because, you know, everybody, you know, there was prayer going on. And, you know, I'm kind of, you know, y'all know me, I'm, I'm not that deep, <laughs> you know. So when uh, they were like, no, but it's important that we get everybody's perspective. Um, and I, that was important for me. And I think that I was able to bring a certain perspective that was a little bit different than just the prayer and maybe a little bit more of, as Pastor Walt likes to say, the raw and the real. Um, but what it also made me think about is that um, that's almost the way that Jesus kind of put together his crew. You know what I'm saying? You know, he had John, who was like the, the young, loving guy. He had Matthew, who was a tax collector. And then he had my boy. This is my dog, Peter. Um, and I love Peter because Peter makes me know that I got a chance. I, can, I might be able to get in. Um, Peter, at one point in time, and I love this, is like in uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter. Um, and, and the 18th verse Jesus says to Peter, you know, upon this rack, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You know, Peter's on the top of the world, you know what I'm saying? By the 23rd, uh, 23rd verse, you know, Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because Peter had come out of his mouth on something, you know? I mean, that's, that's the way Jesus' relationship with Peter was. But Peter was an essential part of what was going to happen in the church. Peter might cuss you out. You know, Peter carried a sword with him, you know what I'm saying? I like Peter. I could hang with Peter. You know, Peter, good people to me. Um, I love the fact that Jesus was able to use him in every way. Even when, you know, when Jesus was walking on the water, he was like, there's going to be one of these dudes who I know going to jump out on the water. Jesus knew he wasn't going to be able to walk in that water, but he knew, he knew that Peter was going to jump out there, him and his crazy self. Um, and that's the great thing I love about what God does in our lives. And this is the one I would want to encourage you all with. And this is part of my little nugget for the day is that God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ can use you. He can use anyone for his glory. And sometimes it doesn't mean that you have to be this refined, prayed up, great individual. Sometimes he wants you in your mess and your flaws, because that way somebody who is messed up and flawed just like you might think they have a shot. I know for me, I love the fact that it says in the Bible that God will use the foolish things to confound the wise. And I'm proof, proof of that. Um, and you can be that as well. I want to encourage you on today. Um, to make sure that you understand that sometimes your faults, sometimes your weakness are just the things that God wants to use. He put those things in you so that you can eventually become a blessing to someone else. I want to encourage you in that way. Um, like I like to say a lot of times, that might not be in the book, but it's in the word now. Um, and we're going to live with that. Once again, this is the mailroom. I want to encourage you all to, to keep checking these things out. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. Um, check it out on Facebook. I think we're going to also have it on Instagram as well. And just continue to encourage one another. Um, stay connected in this crazy time. Uh, make sure that you, again, are being safe. Wear your mask um, and do all the things that the, the, the folks are telling us to do to make sure that we stay healthy. I love you. I will see you soon. And we are BBC Steel Creek. Talk to you next week.